Okay, this video is about how to remove your ski XM brake caliper. Uh, you don't remove the brake pads, everything comes out as an assembly. Um, and in this video, the chain and bottom sprocket are already out, and you don't remove the chain case bearings. Okay, so the brake caliper is pressed onto the drive shaft bearing, so you need a special tool, the brake caliper puller. And uh, in addition, you'll need a Torx T25, T30, T40, a good snap ring puller, and your regular tools. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So on Google, you can see some options on different pullers that you can get, or uh, I've heard of people making ones themselves. Uh, whatever it takes, you can take a look at the one that I got here. I can't say that I loved it, but and also it bent, um, but it did work. Okay, so to get started, we got a Torx T30 to pull off the brake rotor cover, and uh, this comes off real easy. So just be careful not to bend up this cover while you're pulling it off. If you just just mess around with it long enough, you get the right angle where it pulls out. There's no real trick to getting this snap ring off. It just this one just needed a little persuasion. Okay, so now the rotor is free, but you can see that's not really what the problem here is. We need to pull the caliper, and then the rotor will come off with it. Okay, so you got your T40 here, and you've got to align the rotor so that that wide space gives you room to access the bolts underneath. And there's four bolts, and you'll notice there's four um, wider spaces on the rotor. So you need to turn it so they're all aligned like that, and then the bolts come right out. Uh, I started each one by hand, they're, they're in there pretty tight, and then once you start it by hand, you can pull it out with the drill. And then, so we've got that loose, but it's still not moving, so what now? Alright, so make sure the track, you've already got the suspension out at this point, uh, make sure the track is straight. So you got to prop up the back like that so that it, it's nice and straight and you can get some, take some tension off. So look for that nub right there. Um, that is the backing plate um, inside the tunnel what you just removed the screws from there's a backing plate um, And so that needs to come out and it's a little notch and you can kind of see it right there um, It's really hard to see but there it is in the red box And so at this point the only thing that's holding it off is that notch so here after I've taken it off You can see the notch and that's just the only thing holding it on now so you just need to rotate this bracket a little bit and it'll just drop right off. So I'm just gonna tap it with a little tapper and off it comes. And you can see there's where we screw, there's our uh, holes where we were screwed into. And then if you haven't already, just go ahead and remove this guard too. You're probably gonna need to take that off to make some room. And that's a T25. Okay, and looking again at this tool, the outside screws are going to be hooked onto the caliper and the inside screw pushes the drive shaft. You can see there's a slug on there on the drive shaft to protect it. And then when the uh, screws are engaged, they're not touching the rotor or they're not hooked onto the rotor. They are pulling up on the caliper. So you really can't see it until it's off, but see there's the bearing and there's where the caliper assembly was pressed onto it. So the puller screws came through, and once you had everything loose and that backing plate off, there was enough play in the drive shaft that it would allow the whole assembly to come up, and you could get those screws through, and then attach bolts to the other side. And it's not exactly easy, um, but you know there's enough room in there where you can do that. So now you just wiggle it around enough and the brake rotor comes out and then the caliper assembly is off and you just need to kind of push it off to the side.
Now the only reason why it doesn't move freely is because of the track. So you just need to wiggle it and push it and make sure the track is aligned straight like I showed you earlier. And you just need to pull up and out of the chain case. And there's plenty of room up there at the top. See there, it popped right out. And your drive shaft's out.